Good morning and welcome to our prayers this Monday morning. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? Let us be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Almighty God, your Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence. Give us new hearts and constant wills to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us in silence confess our faults and admit our frailty. We have lusted in our hearts and with our eyes. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have not always kept our promises. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have turned away from learning the more difficult lessons of love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God forgive us, Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. Amen. Amen. Psalm 30 I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord, I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing, O my Lord. God, I will give you thanks forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 7, verses 1 to 6. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only during that person's lifetime? Thus, the married woman is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is discharged from the law concerning the husband. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law, but if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. In the same way, my friends, you have died to the law through the body of Christ so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead 
in order that we may bear fruit for God. While we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions, aroused by the law, were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are discharged from the law, dead to that which held us captive, so that we are slaves not under the old written code, but in the new life of the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Anyone who does God's will is considered a close family member of Jesus. As members of God's family, let us pray together to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the worldwide church and for our congregation here in this community. We thank you for our priests, Michael, John and Julian, and for all who minister to us in your name. We pray that as family members of the Church of God, we may show his likeness by doing his will, that those visiting our churches may find there God's beauty and truth, open-hearted loving and a unity of purpose. Father, let your will be done. We pray for the nations of the world struggling with the coronavirus pandemic, with climate change and with conflict. We pray, pray for those places where there is conflict, Myanmar, Syria, the Yemen, Mozambique, and for those places where there is a third wave of the pandemic, especially India. We pray for the members of the G7 summit meeting, which will begin on Friday in Cornwall. Lord, we pray that as members of the human race, we may work together, share resources, respect and learn from one another, that leaders may inspire collective good, and those with vision be valued and heard. Father, let, Let your will, will be done. done. We pray for this community, for our friends and neighbours, and for our families wherever they may be, especially those who are now on holiday. We thank you for the spirit of communal service in this place, and for the kindness and consideration shown by many. And we thank you for the opportunities to return to work to celebrate anniversaries and birthdays with families and friends and to worship together once again. We pray especially for those who have recently moved to live and work here. We pray that we may give both support and space to those we love and nurture, that those of our own families who do not yet know God may come to understand the depth of his love for them. Father, let, let your, your will, will be done. done. We thank you, Lord, for all the miracles of healing that happen every day. The diagnosis and prescriptions, the drugs, the surgery, and for the vaccinations on which we now rely. And we thank you for all who work in hospitals and medical centres. We pray for all those who are suffering in any way, physically or mentally, for the victims of war, oppression and terrorism, for refugees, prisoners and the homeless, for those affected by natural disasters and climate change. We remember those whom we know who are sick. We pray that all who come to Jesus in need, may find in him forgiveness, healing and wholeness of body, mind and spirit, strength to cope with their difficulties and a constant inner renewing. Father, let, let your, your will, will be done. done. We pray 
that as those coming to death roll up the tents of their early earthly existence, they may be welcomed into the eternal throne prepared for them by their loving God. We pray for those who grieve their passing. Father, let, let your will, will be done. done. We pray that as we marvel at the generosity of God's love and his acceptance of us, we may grow closer to his likeness each day that we live. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers, prayers for, for the sake, sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. The Collect for today. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you. Mercifully accept our prayers, and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father in, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God of power, may the boldness of your Spirit transform us. May the gentleness of your Spirit lead us. May the gifts of your Spirit Equip us to serve and worship you, now and always. Amen. Amen.